We're out here tonight. We're uh, having the Passover today in the Leicester Brethren Church in Pinkville, Illinois. Now all the Leicester Brethren Church members way out there, YouTube, Christ Spiritual Cyberspace. We got the Jesus people here tonight, the Jesus gang. You know, we're having a blessed Passover to the, tonight. We're going to preach about uh, the stone being rolled away, the tomb's empty. You know, he, Jesus is not there, he is risen, you know. For the glory be to God. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Tonight we're going to be in Matthew chapter 28. It's going to be verses from 1 to 15. And I'll tell you what, I love all of you tonight. For glory be to God. We're going to have church here tonight. No, praise God. Tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday. That's where the Christian three pillars of the Christian entity, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus had to die on the cruel cross so we can live. You know, have eternal life. And He come back to you. There's not much time left. And we're just glad tonight that we're hitting North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. If it's not going to be a victory in Jesus, the battle of the Lord, after we're done with this song, sermon, it's going to be short and sweet. We're going to have a healing for Dan's eyes and Hobie's friends, girls, and best. We're going to anoint your oil. We're going to have a healing service tonight. And Dr. Jesus, the great physician, the bomb again, that only Dr. Jesus can heal you. For the glory be to God. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came. Mary Magdalene and the other Marys of Jesus Sepher. You know, Jesus loves men, but boy, Jesus loved, you know, his mother there. He loved the Mary Magdalene. The seven demons was cast out of her. She was probably a prostitute. And, and I mean, she was a great follower of Jesus Christ. You know, God works in mysterious ways. And then, behold, there was a great earthquake. And you know, anything happens, there's a sign below Jesus is the Savior Messiah, but there's a sign. You know, that's a spiritual sign, but in the physical realm, there's always an earthquake or, or a tornado or a flood or something happens or famine or a flood when God's, in, you know, coming on the scene. This is going to be a supernatural miracle here. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from his door and sat upon it. Yes, there's angels today. That, that was angels 2,000 years ago. There was angels 2012. We got a lot of angels here today. You know, I don't know how many angels at least the brother uh, ministry here in Pinkville, Illinois, but I know when you guys were singing a while ago, I felt it, God's presence, Jesus anointing, I felt the angels. You got angels sitting next to you, you know. We can't see them. Sometimes you can see them human form. Sometimes, you know, entertain strangers that could be angels for God's glory. And nobody's going to move that rock. That angel's on that rock. You know, he was really... You know, Jesus, rock of ages, rock of Israel, rock. You know, and he told Peter, and on this a rock I build my church and I gate to hell and I prevail. His compass was like lightning in his raiment, white as snow. And for the fear of him, the keepers did shake and the king was dead. And what would you like to see that happen, Lord, being at that place? Just a supernatural miracle of God. In the glory of God, the glory of Jesus. You know, we want to walk in His glory. We don't want Ichabod over the door the glory depart. I pray in the name of Jesus tonight here on, on the blessed Passover that the glory shall come, the glory come down. We got glory 259. That's what uh, God told Betty Carr herself when she was on God too. And tonight, I know God's glory. I want His glory, 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 holy, holy, holy. Praise your holy name. You're on the throne. They worship God and they worship Jesus forever and ever. They keep marching on the throne. They, they, they bow at his feet. They cast the crowns at his feet. And they say, holy, holy, holy. Glory, glory, glory. There's 24 beasts up there. There's angels around the throne. And the saints of God, they march around it forever and ever and ever. I'm getting excited here. Praise you, Jesus. And the angel answered and said it to the women, Fear not, fear ye, fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus was a crucified. Thank God, you know, don't worship angels. Angels are God's ministering spirits, and angels are God's messengers. They're giving the messengers to the two Marys here. And I had a wonderful mother named Mary. I had one of 
best mothers in the world, and my dad Harold, and I got my Alicia tonight in the audience, my beloved, my daughter here, and every one of you support God's life, and she's coming out, half of me and Betty here, at least the brother of ministry, God the sinner here, after 29 years. And these last days of prayer time, and Alicia has a call in her life. God shows her visions and dreams. God's prophecies are like Betty has visions and dreams, and me for glory be to God. Without the vision, the people perish. Every one of you, God has brought you here, and God's going to use every one of you. We got a new man tonight with his talent, with a guitar. We got an old talent with trumpets. We got Betty play the guitar, keyboard. Everybody, if they got saved prayer, we have freedom here. Freely receive, freely give. Every one of you, there, there are deacons and head deacons, and every one of you for God's glory here tonight. And I thank you for showing up. I love to preach. I've been preaching 27 years. And when the last day's perilous time, Jesus returning soon. He said, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, and he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay. The earthquake, the stone rolled away, the tomb's empty. Jesus is risen, he's not there. Muhammad's in the tomb, Buddha's in the tomb. You know, uh, these people, Hindu, all these other religions, they're in the tomb. Muhammad's in the tomb for the Muslim religion. But praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. The tomb's empty. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, it goes before you into Galilee, that shall you see him, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre, that's the tomb, with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, all hell, and they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Now, when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and shoot unto the chief priests all things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers. Remember a week ago? When Jesus went in Jerusalem triumphantly, and what did he do? He went in the temple, and he, he overturned uh, the tables of the money changers. They wasn't giving the best sacrifice. They were giving second, third, and giving top dollar. You know, we give the master the best. In return, Jesus gives us his best. And there they are again. There's the Pharisees, that religious spirit is still alive in 2012, trying to money change. You know, the devil trying to tell a lie that they stole his body away. But that was life in the pits of hell. Jesus risen. That was in Bible prophecy from the beginning, the Old Testament to the end. The Old Testament type of shadow of what happens in the New Testament for the prophecy. Glory be to God. Saying, say ye his disciples came by night and stole them away while we slept. And that, that's really sad. You know, everybody out there, they want to money change Jesus. They want to tell lies about Jesus. You can talk about the weather. You can talk about politics. You can talk about sports. You know, you even talk about God, but say the J word, say Jesus, and maybe that censorship, boy, you don't get into a heated argument, they don't want to hear it, because a lot of people's under conviction. I thank God for every one of you, for the glory be to God, I know you love the Lord. And if this comes through the governor's ear, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught, and this is the same commonly reported upon the Jews to this day. See, Jesus had to die the death, burial, resurrection. He had to shed his precious blood on a cruel cross at Calvary. You know, without the shedding of Jesus' precious Lamb of God, take the sin of the world away, John the Baptist said. Jesus had to shed his blood so we can live to forgive us for our sins. You know, there's power, power, wonder what the power of the blood of the Lamb. Jesus had to die so we can live. But praise your holy name. Jesus ain't on the cross no more. He is risen. You know, he ain't in the tomb no more. The tomb's empty. And his resurrection power, that means someday when we believe in Jesus Christ, we repent from our wicked way. We let Jesus Christ come in our hearts. He forgives us for our sins. We're a new creature in Christ. We're born again. That is the buzzword. We're born again. We're a new creature. All things pass away. Behold, all things come, become new. You know, and that's a beautiful thing. It won't be long. Me and Betty's going to turn 59 here real soon. 
And yesterday is gone. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow might not come. And when we worship God tonight and all the churches tomorrow, what a beautiful resurrection day for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, and the Messiah of the world. So that's the message tonight. The resurrection part where the Christian has. The three pillars of Christianity. The death, the burial, and the resurrection. And tonight, I'm cleaning up. This is my audience. This is at least the brother ministry of King of Illinois. This is me and Betty. God brought the sheep in. I'm going to be a good a shepherd, a good pastor, a good prophet like Jesus, a good shepherd, a good prophet. Everyone you I know you know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, your state. But I want you to agree with prayer out there in YouTube land. This is your opportunity. Some of you have been running from the Lord many years, many years. This is your opportunity to turn your life over to Jesus Christ. You got people here, at least the brethren, praying for you today. This will be your greatest decision in life. Say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Jesus Christ will save you. What a better day to get saved though, on the blessed Passover. What a better day to go to church tomorrow, wherever you live. In North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East. And tell the good news that Jesus Christ saved your soul. That you've seen it. Uh, for the glory be to God. At least the brother ministry of Pinkneville. That will blow the trumpet. The sound of alarm in God's holy mouth. Repent for the King God's hand. Say this prayer with me today. Bow with me humbly. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner saved by your amazing grace. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. My name's written in the book of life. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. I'm born again, Lord Jesus Christ. When I die someday, I'll be up from the body present with the Lord. I'll be up in heaven with the, the saints of God, the loved ones, and my loved ones. But we cast our crowns at your feet. We cast down. And oh Lord Jesus Christ, it'll be beautiful up in heaven. We'll run down Hallelujah Avenue, the streets of gold, see the part of the gates, but see our Savior, our Messiah, Jesus Christ, the man that died on the cruel cross that we can live, to be up there in heaven with you. Oh God, oh Jesus, and no more sorrow, no more pain, no more suffering, no more death, oh no more tears. What a beautiful death that will be in the sweet bye-bye. Amen, amen. Give Jesus the best hand clap. If you said that prayer tonight, uh, email me and Betty uh, on YouTube, Least the Brother Ministry. Email us, George and Betty Kelly's channel. We got an address, write us a letter. We want to see a public confession. And we thank you, Jesus. I know you saved many souls today. Could be hundreds, could be thousands, even maybe millions. We don't know. You know all things, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Dan, I want you to come down. We're going to anoint you with oil. And hopefully I want you to stand in for these uh, women, young girls. And anybody else needs prayer today? We're going to have a healing service here today. We had resurrection part, uh, the death, burial, resurrection for Jesus' glory, the true story. Praise you, Jesus. Okay. Come on, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we, we lift that brother Dan to you tonight. I'm more than 14 years from the crown of his head to the soles of feet. Touch his eyes. He needs a miracle. Touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of feet for the glory be to God. And just not Dan, but all the people. That's the healing virtue. Dr. Jesus, the great physician of Bob Gilead. Touch him, Lord, and people to North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, over the world. But Dan's here in, in the presence of you, God, and Jesus. And touch him on this blessed Passover. Touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Dan, been a blessing, helped me in so many ways in the past. And I thank you for all his help, all his blessings. Now just touch him. He's your deacon here in this church, least brother ministry in Pinkville, Illinois. Bless him, I pray, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Anoint him, healing virtue, healing, Lord. Touch that eye. That eye's got to open in the name of Jesus. Just like the stone was rolled away. Touch his eyes in Jesus' holy name for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Divine healing. Lift your hands to heaven, Dan. You're a mighty man of valor, mighty man of God. You're about six foot five and 300 pounds. And God's hand been upon you all these years. Bless his family. Bless his children, children. Him and his house will serve the Lord forever and ever. We'll see your anointing. We know you touch the people out of YouTube land out there in, in, in Christ's spiritual cyberspace on this blessed Passover day. 
in the name of Jesus. Have your way for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you want you to come here. Hope he's st stepping in for his friend Diana's children. Hope he here is a head deacon. We thank him for him. And we thank him for Kenny and email the other deacons. I want you all to agree with me. Lord Jesus, uh, Hobie's uh, stepping in tonight for Diana's children. He said, come like childlike faith is her children tonight. Touch them. They got fevers. In the name of Jesus, I break any uh, cold or virus or sinuses or flu or bronchitis or pneumonia. In the name of Jesus, we lift up Hobie to you. And touch Hobie too with his uh, cancer. You, it's a remission. God, you could grow my, uh, even a new tongue. There's nothing too hard for our Lord. Hope he loves you, Lord. He's been a blessing. He's helped my beloved daughter. And he's a giver from you. With things with Alicia moving in here. Now God touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of the feet. Touch his uh, daughter, uh, Lord of Deanna. And you're going to bring more people in. I uh, thank you tonight. We're having church tonight. This is your healing service. Consecrated, dedicated, committed, sanctified. Let the power of God hope he's a conduit. He's standing in the gap for Diana's daughters. I thank you. Bless the little children. Childlike faith. Suffer not. Let the little children come to me. Jesus, you rebuke your disciples once the children sat on your lap. You love the children. We little children. How much you loved us. Well, you know it's when we in a mother's womb. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know this miracle tonight in Jesus' holy name. Amen, amen. Praise you. Bless me prayer tonight. You may need prayer. Going once, going twice, in Jesus' name, going three times. This has been God's service tonight. It's been a good service for the glory be to God. And uh, I just thank you for coming out tonight in Jesus Christ. That's where we live and that's where we die. Jesus Christ is King and King and Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is the yes. Savior and Messiah. You know, the world today, a lot of people don't want to hear the day word. That to no, no, but as long as I'm alive, every breath, every heartbeat, the J word, Jesus, you're going to hear from these lips. These yeah. lips are clay. Yeah. So if Jesus won't be long. One of these days, he's going to split the eastern skies. you are on your cloud like a thief in the night. Yeah. And there'll be a voice, voice of archangel, trumpet of God. And if we're walking by the graveyard, the dead shall rise first. And that's just alive. We be caught the air, go with the Lord. We get that free. Airplane ticket. I know some of you roll on an airplane, maybe some of you haven't you, but an airplane ticket maybe goes, you know, the airplane goes 600 miles per minute. Well, like, like 600 miles per hour. Let me get it right. Sorry for the mistake. But we might go, <laughs> speed of light, Jesus, God's speed, 186,000 miles per second. It's going to be beautiful. And tonight, Lord, let the glory come down, touch every person in this place. These are your children from the north, south, east, west. Bring new people in. Thank you for the new talent. Thank you for your people. We love you tonight. In Jesus' holy name. Give YouTube a big wave. Give him a big wave on this blessed resurrection. We, we love you in Jesus' name. We'll give you a, a, a wave offering, Lord, on a blessed uh, Passover. This is your wave offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. These are your people. You, you know, thank you. For, you can bring them out and minister to them. Consecrate them, dedicate them, commend them, sanctify them. We give you a wave in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. Sorry, no. Good night in Jesus' holy name. Have a blessed resur uh, Passover day. Have a blessed resurrection Sunday tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Give Jesus the best hand clap. Thank you, Jesus.